So, I'm on my soapbox again about hugs. I really think uh, it's worth a reminder to all of us as to how valuable they are. We hug when we're excited, happy or sad, because it makes us feel better, good, healthy and happy. And can you believe that the average length of a hug between two people lasts for about three seconds? Yet research says that when a hug lasts for 20 seconds at least, the hormone oxytocin is produced. That's the cuddle hormone. So oxytocin also lowers our heart rates and our cortisol levels, which helps us to relax, to feel safe and to calm our fears and anxiety. And that's just for starters. We can learn some patience in our busy world if we slow down enough to recognize when someone else needs a hug, including ourselves. It's just a nice way of acknowledging and showing appreciation to someone as well as to yourself. So if you think about it, a hug represents affection and that has been proven too to reduce stress, which in other words, would prevent many diseases right across the board. So it follows that our immune system will benefit enormously from hugs. And this is through uh, the thymus gland and below that your solar plexus, um, which regulates and balances the body's production of white blood cells, which keep you healthy. And then we aren't always successful in saying the right words at the right time. So a hug comes in really handy to do just that. It can also save us from putting our foot in it and instead expresses how we feel in a really lovely, meaningful way. And plus hugs balance our nervous system when our skin is touched. Hugs also stimulate our brains to reduce, to release dopamine, the pleasure hormone. So dopamine is responsible for giving us that feel-good feeling and it's also responsible for motivation. And endorphins and serotonin are also released when we fling our arms around each other, which can help reduce pain and sadness and possible heart problems. So if you hug for an extended length of time, our serotonin levels are boosted and so are our moods. And lastly, hugging boosts self-esteem. From the time we are born, our family's touch shows us that we are loved and special. And the associations of self-worth and tactile sensations from our early years are still embedded in our nervous systems as adults. The cuddles we received from our mums and dads while growing up remain imprinted at a cellular level and hugs remind us of that at a somatic level. So hugs, therefore, connect us to our ability to self-love. So just get out there and hug yourself into good health.